PeteTools.com. G'day guys, Pete Pete's Tools, great to see you back here again today. Can't keep away from me, eh? Ha <laughs> uh, Anyway, today I want to have a bit of a rant about uh, plasma torch consumables. And don't buy a cheap plasma cutter if you need consistency in your consumables and you need choice in your consumables. Anyway guys, I'll explain what I mean. Same old drama guys, remember you like my videos, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment and uh, let's get into this, eh? Hey, and don't forget to come say hi at peachtools.com So guys, what I mean is this, if you watched any of my videos before you know I'm cheap, actually I'm not cheap. Peach, you're not cheap, I prefer to be called budget minded. I don't like paying too much for something that I don't really need if you understand what I'm saying. So, uh, but, it, but that's why I, I like these torches because they're really cheap to run. This torch, or this one, they're all generic torches. Or even this one, this is a 100 amp one. Or uh, this one, they're all generic, they all have cheap consumables and uh, they all cut, basically. And you say, well, of course they cut. But not all plasma torches are created equal, if you understand what I'm saying. These are just designed to hack and cut through your steel, like this. So you want to cut a squiggly line along here, guys. So you do your squiggle like that, you grab your torch. You're only talking three millimetre plate. You grab your little torch, and away you go, you cut it. And I'm cutting from the edge, so that's not a problem. Uh, if you've seen any of my other videos, I'll put a link up the top and I'll tell you why you always have to cut from an edge. And this is part of what I'm talking about today. Um, but these are just basic cutting tips. I've got a short cutting tip in this one, or you can get a long cutting tip. That's the only choice you have in the tip. Either short or long for the PT31. And as for these other ones here, like I showed you, these ones as well, all they do is cut, basically. They don't pierce, they don't gouge, they just cut. Now you're saying, Pete, what the hell is piercing and gouging? Well, I'll show you. So before I go on guys, I'll just cut this little squiggle out here and I'll just show you the basic cutting. There you go, a basic squiggle cut out. And that's pretty basic. All you're doing is cutting thin plate, and that's all you need to do. We're cutting that thick with the PT31. And that's all I needed to do for years and years and years, which is all good. But if you can't cut from an edge, you have to cut from the centre. These tips have got a habit of blowing back and destroying the tip, unless you cut on an angle. But if you get a torch that is not a generic torch, which is a branded torch, instead of having a tip that just cuts, you can get a tip which is called a piercing tip which is what it's designed to do, is that you can cut from the middle of the sheet like this without it doing any damage to your tip. And it's designed to pierce to start off with and then you can carry on cutting. You don't have the option with this, this is what I'm saying. These generic torches, this one and the other ones that I've shown you, they're only designed to cut, basically. You don't have any flash tips with it, that's what I'm trying to say. And uh, you can also can't gouge with these. When you, I figured out how to gouge with one of these. Yeah, I'll put a link up the top. I've got a link on how to convert your nozzle here into a gouging nozzle. But you can't buy gouging nozzles for these things. All, what I'm trying to say again and again and again is these cheap plasma cutters and the cheap torches, cheap consumables, all really wonderful. But that's all they do. They just cut. You can't pierce. You can't gouge. And you know, you're saying, what the hell is gouging? Well, I'll show you. Yeah, gouging, guys, is you might have a big, thick piece of metal like this. Now this torch will cut through this, but what gouging is, is if you want to like put a groove in here or you want to put an indentation in here to maybe put some wires through or something before you bolt it onto something else or you need to put a little channel in here to run something inside it. You don't want to cut it off completely, but you want to have a gouge in there if you understand what I'm saying. And uh, if you're using a non-generic torch, you can buy the tips that actually, instead of cutting it, they will just gouge it out like that. But like I said, I've, um, I've figured out a way to do it with the PT31 torch. And you can have a look at that video and I'll teach you how to do that with these tips here. So yeah, that's just a couple of things guys. You just don't get the choice in the tips. And the um, more expensive, well a lot more expensive torches, they give you a lot more choices. But once again, you're paying a lot more for the torch and you're paying a hell of a lot more for the consumables. So like I say guys, I'm not here to tell anyone what to buy and what not to buy, I'm just, just giving you my experience and just what I've learned over the years with these, these cheaper stuff. You should make up your own mind what you need and what you don't need. But there's advantages and disadvantages for everything, that's all I'm trying to say. Now there's some symbols here, these are the, for the PT31 torch here, which are, like I say, if you've been watching my videos, you know this is my favourite torch of all time because it suits my purpose. 
Um, these are the consumables here. And what I've noticed over the years is the quality of these can vary really, really from one extreme to the other. Like I've noticed these ones here, they're getting lighter and lighter and lighter. When I first started buying them like 10 years ago, they were probably twice the weight of this. And uh, that cuts down on the, on the cutting time that you have with them and all the rest of it. Maybe their manufacturing process has got better and uh, they only need lighter material. But you know how it is, everyone's trying to save money. And um, yeah, and sometimes you'll just get a bad batch of them as well. And they don't last very long at all. And other times you get a really good batch. But then again, you're comparing apples with apples. You can buy a hundred of these things for about 40 bucks. Compared to the a hundred of the non-generic ones, which might cost you two hundred dollars. So, you know, you can take your pick. You know, it just swings and roundabouts and everything. So there's consumables here, guys. I've brought thousands and thousands of these over the years, and uh, like I said, this is still my favourite thing. But they're just designed to cut. Like I say, they're just going to cut your steel, and that's all they're going to do. There's going to be nothing flash about it. I mean, don't get me wrong. You can still do flash stuff with your with your hand cutting and all the rest of it, and cut out shapes and all sorts of things. But you just can't um, gouge, and you can't. Uh, cut out welds because sometimes when you want to cut out a weld like this if you've got this piece of steel here welded to this say for example and you've got a weld running down the middle here like that but you don't want to cut through this lump of steel but you want to take this off now if you're using this torch here this PT31 torch and you're trying to cut that weld out along here chances are you're going to cut the steel you're either going to cut this or you're going to cut that but, like I said, going back to the gouging tips again, if you had a gouging tip, then it's designed not to cut through, it's just designed to like to cut the weld out as you're going along here. So yeah, swings and roundabouts guys, swings and roundabouts. And then we have these sort of consumables guys, these are for the, for the bigger torches, like for the, the 100 amp ones, and the 60 amp one here, once again these are generic. And what I find with these, with these other torches, the quality of these is a little bit better than these. Um, I don't know why, maybe the manufacturing process is a little bit more robust, I don't know, but that's just what I've found over the years. But once again, these are cheap, and um, you can afford to lose a few every now and then, and if you get a couple of duds, I don't really think it matters. But um, what I'm showing you is, this is just basic cutting metal. Like I keep telling you, you get no options for other sorts of tips and electrodes. Whereas with the other torches, the ones you pay a lot more money for, you get a lot more other options as well. But then again, you're tied into buying their consumables. You can buy generic consumables, they're copies for the original torches, but I don't think they're any good. I prefer to stick, if you're going to have a generic torch, that's what I think anyway, if you're going to have a generic torch, stick with generic consumables. Don't try and buy consumables that have been made for a torch that the Chinese didn't make originally, if you understand what I'm saying. Wow, Pete, that's as clear as mud. <laughs> so guys, that was really short and sweet for Pete, wasn't it, hey? <laughs> what I'm trying to say, guys, just don't expect your cheap plasma cutter torch or your cheap plasma cutter that runs a cheap plasma cutter torch to have all the options of the big expensive ones and the ones with the big expensive torches. Like, and sometimes you get dud ones of these as well. You know, that's the same in life really. But for the price differences, I, I can take a few duds, you know, every now and then. It's not a big deal for me. Anyway, that's my thoughts on it anyway, guys. You guys need to make up your own mind what sort of gear you want to buy. Uh, great to see you here again today. Remember to come see me at PeachTools.com. Remember to subscribe, like, or do whatever you want. And we'll see you next time. Have a great day, guys. See ya. PeachTools.com